Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's going on guys? It's Son of Beast here and I am here for another NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. This time, it will be only me at this point because the other commentaries will be able to kick back in and get ready for our next game as soon as we can. So it's time to see who's the next matchup. It's the Toronto Maple Leafs facing against the Boston Bruins. Both teams are tied up with two. One and one back-to-back -back switches. But now, Boston is back home and they're about to see if they can take the lead over or Toronto Maple Leafs to stop them in game five. Before heading back home for the Toronto in game six, and if there's game necessary, we'll have game seven right in between of those two. But this is where it comes down to this one, the chance for the lead between Bruins or the Leafs. The next commentator I will have is Meephone, and he's also along with some other commentaries of the crew. He's also along with Life Rain and the third commentary of the crew. I have to call for the next uh, next opponent to give it back into it is Lightball. And the center ice position I have is Terry Cruz. I'll be back with the post-game show after this game has been complete. Without further ado, Samsonov against Swayman, ready to go. Let's catch you down to TD Garden, guys. Hello everyone, it's me, Phone, and we are at TD Garden Arena. It's that time to light things up. It's Game 5 of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs, coverage on EA Sports. We're about to get this thing started right away, and the puck is dropped. Here we go. Here to start into the group right now, it's in between the Swayman and Zanzanov. Here's Matthews. Broken to stick here on ice, on a choppy start. And this one goes back the other way to McAvoy. Got to pay for some little bit more room here. That stick doesn't need to be able to bite that dust out again. Doesn't really help it. No, it's not. Here's another one to McAvoy. McAvoy blocked that shot. That's Riley with the rebound. Riley right toward the left wing. Bumps up the corner. That's rebounded by Marner. McAvoy with the punch seal. Time again to Coyle. Coyle right toward the right wing. Swings it over to Marchand's shot. It's blocked up and it goes back again to Matthews. Stick lifted. Great defensive standing as Swayman gets it over in the corner of the wall. Riley shoots it. Good catch by Swayman. Got a great save of the night. The two saves of the game in game five. And they're ready to hustle for a next face off. Still lots of time up in this period. No score in the game between the Maple Leafs and the Bruins. Lebrun shot block. He scores! William Nylander, his first goal of the playoffs in Game 5. Starting up the chain, 1-0. Now watch that play once more. You see what happens now, because that goal just made a puck on a string easier. Made this with a great shot. That is just a little bit of a ring off the post, and then went in the net. That turned it like it was a little hard to take over this, but it wasn't easy at all. First goal of the night goes into William Nylander. A start off with a Maple Leafs 1-0. You know, every time in the player that they really have to do, I was really, I'm scared right now. That the Maple Leafs are really a better team, but I say the Boston Bruins, they were really like a better team ever. They played really well, and then because of that what happens, because they were really making a mess out of it, they really just wanted to try to stop them. I mean, there's no question of how that happened, but, you know, that's what they always do, you just keep it in there. Zaka now finds it over again to the Brooks. The Brooks, moving around the puck, shoots it, and a save puts up by Samsonov. He'll hold the puck in, get ready for the next face-off with just 18 to free to go. The big shutdown puts it in. It's a great stop lane on his attacking zone and try to knock him down. Yeah, I know that happened. Got a big hit. Rumble hit. Take him over if you can't. Yarn Crooks got that puck and he's now into the Bruin zone. The firing arc. Save puts up by Jeremy Swayman. And here's Zaka. He will try to handle it over to fire that puck out. 
The Maple Leafs are back into the offense as Bennett gives it over to McMahon. McCabe's got that puck in right towards the left wing. Shimmery in front, yard good shot. Good pass stop here by Jeremy Swayman. That almost got to be a big on an attacking range out there. I mean, there is no questions of how this one is going to keep on coming down. You, this one needs to have a right rhythm. Got to get through it. The block shot and save puts up at a goaltender. McAvoy with the battling for the puck rebound with under 17 to go. McAvoy swivels it across. Save puts up by Santana. We'll stop the puck here with just only 16.45 left to go in the first quarter. Here's a take, Pashanox and Matthews. David Pashanox is one of his snipe zone. For the long, great, long shot in his zones, he makes that one clear. Austin Matthews has one of his biggest on the ability to take all over from its setup. He calls his shucking on ability, he can take over and take out the goaltender to make a big reaction right in front of it or behind it as he can. Hey, this is definitely everybody's favorite one. I'll try to find out if David Pashanox or Malsa Matthews has a point. Back to you. Great stop by Samsonov. That will, will stop the puck here and get ready for our face off with 16 14 to go. All pushes are getting set, ready for the face off in a late Maple Leaf zone. The win off puts it in for the Bruins. Whereas like, shoot! Save puts up by Samsonov. Wolf pressure starting to go on a heat. Now they're ready for another face-off. one nothing is the score in the first. The win puts in for the Bruins. Shoot! Misses it! That goes right back to Grislyk again to Pashanox. Over now again to McAvoy to Marchand shot. To Coyle on a reap around it. Big save by Samsonov. The big off that he can take is not turned easy already. But that was a great stoppage for Samsonov to kick it up. The win puts it in for Matthews. Now back the airwaves like Hushkin. The pass over to Marner. Looking its way down and he goes up and Swayman will now try to cover the puck up. And this will be nearing the 15 minute mark in the first period of the game. Now they're ready for another face off. The setup win will put it in for the Bruins. Coyle trying to help him out to get the puck back. The Terzi gets a puck steal. Lilgren loses one. Better shot. And a save puts it in for Jeremy Swayman. Nylander gets to Brody. Brody blocks that shot. Trying to go for two. The puck in the in too close. Domi right behind the net. Shoots. Save puts up by Swayman. Crazy attackers that Jeremy Swayman has played in there. Keep it alive at a better time. Boshanov shot. Big stop, and he scores! What a shot for Boshanov! And tries to skip the war. All happen to be all the one. Every team does her best and right. Now, I know that Samsonov was trying to get that blood save, but what happened is that sniper just didn't really help him out. But this rebound took it over, and he had a great shot of his attempt. Got to take over. Got to get a press back. The Bruins are tied as Matt Grizzly gets a number assist. That will be a first one for the playoffs tonight. 14 14 left to go, passing a 15 minute mark already. As Pasanas to see, try to look for another goal, and he takes it. Bam, my use with the hook. Trying to move across, he went down. Debrus with the rebound. Stick lifted, that goes back to Brody. Goes again to Domi. Domi gets again to Nylander. Nylander, loose that puck. Back to Brody. Brody over to Nylander. Oh, Swayman makes a save. And it's only 14-12 to go in the first period. The teams are set, ready for the faceoff. Tie the game, 1-1. One one. Now the next faceoff will put in for the Leafs. Brody, comes it across. No rebound take here for Tavares. As this one goes back right toward the corner of the wall. Zaka with the rebound now finding Corlo. The Bruins are back in the offensive zone. Great stop by Samsonov. And we'll have to hold it up with no chance at all.
Now they're ready for another face-off. The face-off win puts it in for the Maple Leafs as Brody will now give it off to Lugren. Lugren over to McMahon. McMahon trying to swing it across in. Toward a middle shot, plus saved by Swayman. Excellent play out there because Harry Swayman, he was really taking all that effort and this is not always easy when you get that one a good shot. You know, it's just not turning into what they are expecting because I just need to know because I know it's not even really happening. But I have to be out there. you got to get over here with the credit and you got to have a, a right timing to have it in there. Well, please out of the zone. Hind him with the puck. Tavius with the puck now as he's spat stolen. Here's another one to Riley. Over now to McMahon. McMahon right toward the shot. Close save by Sweeney. Under 13 minutes has passed, and we just now need to 12.48 to go to first. Sweeney's team trying to get the team up in the lead. In a hurry, still tied. Coyle wins the faceoff. Now Carlo will have that bucket racing in right toward the leaf zone. In the right wing. Lose that puck upward. Matthews with a steal. Takes a big hit. Great stop with the Bruins defensive set. And they're adding in two more tall hits. Oh, that's a big hit over on the other side as the Maple Leafs are trying to show him back. Be careful when Riley does this. You know big on the chain. Boom! That is like a smackdown. Matthews right over to Marner. Lose that puck after this one goes back to Pasternak. Trying to get the puck back out of here as Lorray has it again to Polo. Over now to Coyle. Coyle right to her light right wing. Moves it around. Go for backhand. Big save by Santana. Coyle over now. They're trying to find a pass. Broken up. Marner trying to give over to Nays. Again to Riley. Riley. Puck is loosed up. Run the blue line, no offside on the Leafs. Oh, and Zaka got a big hit in the visitor's bench. And he's trying to get out there. You know, the Bruins fans are not always very happy enough because that is really what they are expecting it because that big hit just put it in there. He went right toward the visitor's bench and that is going to be like an ow moment. I just did not see what goes in there. Big stop by Samsonov with under 11 minutes to go in the first. Not always easy. You can't let this one be back. Now the next faceoff puts in. Under 11 minutes to go, nearing the midway mark of the period. And as the Bruins will win the faceoff, Miss McAvoy misses the shot. Nylander, Espresso gives it again to Frederick. Good catch, glove saved by Samsonov. 10.38 to go in the first period, trying to have an answer in. Now there's more time left here to play for the game. As I announced, this one's still tied up. And the win off comes in for the Bruins. Trying to keep the play puck alive. Frederick moving around, shoots it! Misses the target! And Samson will try to clear the puck. Traps the puck up and then get ready for the face off. Now they're off to an hard face off and get ready for the court. Now the face-off win puts it in as Young Cook got that puck, now finding it again in McMahon. Full pressure trying to get right into the way as the Bears will have it. Team here is trying to pick up a shot. And another pass stop here by Swayman. He went down. Now back to Frederick. Boston on the attack. Toward the right wing. Going for two. Oh, slips it out. Make a great stop and a saving puck inbound. Flying out there, and then this one just went right down, right for the bump, and he tried to pick up enough here. That was a little, little heavy danger attack out there. It was a little bit of a heavy uh, contest because that wasn't really helpful, but that really must have maintained it, actually. Gotta play it for real. They care! Davis gives again to Lugrin. Lugrin with the puck in now into the left wing, gets a Davis shot. Big save on a goaltender. McMahon covers the rebound. Going in. Big save. Bresnik gets it back out to Mort Shand. 
Marshan moves it over to Tasharas. And a stop made by Samsonov. Still lots of time left in this period. Still a tie game. And the win will play it in for the Bruins. McAvoy on a shot. On attack for stop made by Samsonov. Nice with the puck. Flings it out. Dreslin gets again to Marchand. And a shot. Stop made by Samsonov. 8-3-7-39 left to go in the first period. Crowd still buzzing in. Looking for a leadoff score. It's still a tie game. The win puts it in. McAvoy loses that puck. Boyle has it back. Marchand shot. Big stop by Samsonov. Matthews has got that puck. And Marner will have it again to Riley. Riley shoots. And a pad and that one stop again. Oh, that's a big hello. Big smackdown here. I never see when anyone does this. That is big smash down. Matthews shoots. Misses the target. Back to Van Meijs. Back to the other side. Lifts it up in the air. Now Riley's got that butt puck and now give it again to Labushkin. Now finding Marner. Shots blocked. Carlo gets it over back the airway with 7.30 to go. And he went down. Labushkin tried to get this one in there. Back to Bertuzzi. Domi's got that puck. And this one is loose. Carlo's got that puck. Now back and over to get to my mics. Back again to Zaka. Zaka trying to get into, into the middle. Goes right toward back from the crease. Near into the right shot. That makes this wide and off the glass again to my mics. Zaka behind the net. Over now to Carlo. That deflection doesn't hit it. And a big save here by the goaltender. Back to Nylander. Nylander trying to pick up a fast break. Stops that puck, and Lorraine's got it again, right to Geeky. Over to DeBrutz. DeBrutz right toward the left, right wing. Go for two, big save by Samsonov. Yarnbrook's got that puck. Dumps the puck out. McMahon's got the puck. Dowling for loose puck with Nick giving no quarter as he's now gives it off to Lugrin. Shoots! Misses the target and another save puts up by the goaltender. Geeky over now to Heinen. Heinen right toward the right wing. Give to Brody. Brody moves around. Over now to McMahon. McMahon trying to hustle this way in. Give to Tavier a shot. Nice club sap here by Swayman. Oh, that was excellent, man. You always got, you can't just really like take a bath or one of the bigger responses. But that one is putting a great response this year for Jeremy Swayman. How excellent it is. The wind puts it in for the Ruins. Back again to Wolverspoon. Frederick Skype up. Dumps it into the into their zone. And now Brody will have his chance. Give again to McMahon. Off again to Yonkrook. Yonkrook with a stop little takedown for Wilberspoon with the body check. And it now has to roll back over to get to Frederick again to Schenkenkirk. China Cook's got it across right to the middle to Kiki. And this one stayed out of his own. Matthews did again to Yonkrook. Yonkrook watching his attack. Moves it across. Backhander stop made here. Wolverspoon trying to have an answer back. And they go offside. Just 4.24 left to remain in the first period of the game. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy crowd. Tie game looking for a lead. The wind puts it in for the Bruins. Now another chance here for Breslin. Breslin got bumbled out of here. Big screen takedown as Pasternak is giving it over. Oh, that was a little bit too much confidence here. Marner loses the puck. Marchand's got it across back again to Coyle. 
Going all right toward the right way. Over and out. Box now shoots. Big rebound take. What a stop by Samson up. Oh, got a little bit of a confest out there. Nothing really complainable. Nobody has seen it like they did. The pass over to Pasternak. Blocked the shot. And now back to Riley. Riley gives it over to Matthews. Matthews right toward the left wing. Again, denied shot. And a stop by Swayman. Swayman will hold things up here with just 313 left to remain in the first. Now they're off and set, ready for the faceoff. And the win puts it in for the Leafs. Good stop here by Jeremy Swayman. This one will stop that puck, and with only 3.08 to go. And the win will put it in for Riley. Riley shot up and over the net. Domi's got it this time, and over to Leibushkin. Riley shot. Big save play by Swayman. Lacos got it in the cross, right toward the right wing. Over now to McAvoy. Great stop here by Samsonov. Riley tries to handle it over. This one will try to keep the puck in there alive, and now he gets again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi now finding again to Nylander. Nylander right toward the middle. Grezik gives it again to McAvoy, and now back to Brazier. Brazier right toward the right wing. Gives a pass to Laka. Shoots one. Pat stop. Big hit. As they take that puck and still alive. But now he has almost missed it out. Now here's Lindgren. For a backhand. Misses up high. And it goes right back to McAvoy. They're like battling for this puck out there. I mean, I was seriously noticing what's going on. But they were expecting that. They really have to get right into that. He scores! Morgan Riley on his lead effort. And here in the end of the first period, brought their team up by one. Now watch what happened to Morgan Riley. He had that one swinging. That snipe just made that one in, firing across. And that one just made that one here firing like it's a sniper. And then right toward to zip it through the goaltender. And now that goal just made that one in there a confident way. So the team is up in the lead. It's a 2-1 game. Maple Leafs with near a 90 second mark. Now the win will put it in for the Maple Leafs. Dorby gets it again to Brooks. Lose that puck after him. Brock is out of his own. Trying to get it out of here. And here's Brody. Brody trying to make his way across again to Marner. Marner gets it again to Nice. Now he shoots it, and Lorraine gets it again to Carlo. Carlo moves it around. Bat stop here by Samsonov. We're under a minute remaining in the first period. Logan gives it again to Matthews. Matthews with a two-on-one opportunity. For a shot, blocked up by Carlo. On his rebound, he goes back again to the Maple Leafs. Moves it across. This one is off of the traffic defender. And it goes right over to get back again. And Brody has it in over to John Cook. John Cook right over into the left wing. Trying to make a move to McMahon. Shot. So he makes a save. We are just down to 13.3 seconds left to remain in the first. we get ready for the next face-off. There's an arrow face-off win, and a save puts up in by Swayman. Wilbur Spoon, trying to give over to Boshanox. Boshanox with a buzz beater, and it's stopped by Samsonov. That ends the first period, and we got to close things up and get ready for the next period. Two ones of score, be back after this. Welcome back to the playoffs on, two, on EA Sports. We're ready to start the second period. Fair matchups, fair and square, but let's see who will have the next game. I have it over to you guys about it in the first period recap. Seems like it's a great contrast to me. They're really doing well. Just playing in there doesn't really happen to anyone who can definitely just play it out that. 
The Maple Leafs have been scoring it, starting in the first period. And they are really being kept it off that way. The Bruins, however, they really wanted to try to see what they can do. Hopefully the choice is how that happens. And this is why I was really noticing Austin Matthews has been doing really well for all everything. I was really saying that the, the Maple Leafs have been a hard team. Since they ever played in the rival games, I know it was really like difficult for them, but they don't really seem to like get that one out of the way. Maybe they'll have to try to find another way to do it, and then try to stop the puck here before it gets too late. After a puck went out of play, so 2-1 game, Maple Leafs. And the win will put it in for the Bruins. Takes a hit! And Myers finds Dabrowski, now finds McAvoy. Well, saved by Samson on with 18.48 to go. Now they're ready for another face-off. And the win comes up for the Maple Leafs. In the left wing, now he finds it again to Domi. Looks again to Nylander. Nylander trying to break in. Great smackdown here for the Bruins. They are loving it so far. You know how the fans really do. Because they really applauded themselves, they got a great hit. I mean, that's why they've been taking them there. Great defensive set. Oh, it off the goalpost and went outside. Nylander right back for the other way. Hmm, no better choice that happened here. I was saying that this would be a ricochet to get in there, but that didn't help. Another kick for the Maple Leafs, now he finds Bertuzzi. Carlo takes revenge back, now finding DeBrooks. DeBrooks right toward the left wing. Toward the bottom, finds that new shot. Oh, Samsonov! What a great saving opportunity right there. Oh, man, that is too close to have it. You know what happens now? Samsonov got a pretty tight angle here. And by my instrument almost had that goal, that one was going to take over the time angle, and this one stops him. What a great chance. Teams are still ready to take the face off. Toronto still up again by one. Tavius wins the face off as Lindgren will have that puck inbound. Now off again to Jonkrook. Takes a smash kick. Back to Carlo. Luray back the airway trying to find an open room. Towards the wing. Pass broken up. And it's blocked up by Brody. Here comes Yonkro. Toward the side. Luray. Trying to get that puck out of here with no error. Lundgren's got it again to Tavares. Great stop this time. Going for the McMahon shot. Blocker stuff made by Jeremy Swayman. Frederick's got the puck here. Now he gives it over again to pass to Luray. Luray right towards the left wing. Shoots wide and it's big save. Put saved by Sebzenov. Lundgren finds again to Gronkwood. Matthews on the other side. Open look. Club saved by Samsonov. No, excuse me, Swayman. And now Pashanox will have it. The stop aiding with the puck, trying to keep it out. Now it's back over to Marner. The Maple Leafs are back into the offense zone. Oh, a low moment. That takes it back to Grenzlick on a smash kick. You can't really be sorry about that. That's what happens to Marshan. Give that no effort when you get that done. Marchand pass. It's broken up by Lugrin. For a tying game, this one goes back and over to the Maple Leafs to the Bruins zone. Stopped by Swingman. Back to Gresleg on a close call effort. Now here's Coyle. Coyle right toward stepping inside with the shot. Move around and Sevenov makes a save. 15 19 to go in the second period. They're trying to look at some heavy clean looks in the offense. On a take, here's Brad Marchand. Brad Marchand has a no contest ability that has one of its take. Last game, he made this one a back behind the net, and this one just beats over the goaltender with a no contest effort. He might be looking for if that contest puts it right to the side of the net or back behind the net and giving it over to blind the goaltender. I'll find out if there's room. 
Maturity with the block in the ring on the right. And it's up and over catches made by Swayman. That one was a little bit hard. Tricky enough to make. A little bit too sick. Now to back it again to win in the faceoff as McAvoy has it again of MIH. Man makes with the puck. Gives again to the Brooks. Shoots! Big stuff here by Samsonov. Lybushkin now has it across again to Wiley. Wiley will fire that puck out. Open heavy traffic. Gresley gives again to McAvoy. And over again to DeBrus. Trying to work his way in. DeBrus. No chance here. Wiley gives it back to Domi. Lybushkin trying to have an answer away. The big kid. Nylander. Who's inside? Sweeney puts up by Swayman. Shannon Kirk now gives it again to DeBrooks. DeBrooks can hold on with the puck again and it's back to Domi and back to Knights. Over again to Domi. Domi in the zone. Fires it! Big save by Swayman. That was a crazy save of the game. You know, the fans are really there supporting it. Anybody's on their feet for Swayman? They've got to get going here. That puck went whiftily around, and this will be behind the net. Now Swayman will give it over, back and over to Nice as he's trying to battle for the puck. And her team goes offside with 13-14. Now, I've seen this one here before. I was noticing that Jeremy Swayman, he was a little bit cooped close at it, and that's what happened. That one took it over. Big whip on the chain right here, and he tried to get the puck in alive and get that give it open teammate. He's got to get this one through. Mitchell Marner, a third eye ability to try to angle and answer a call. When there's an open room, he can find a three eyes in the shot. If he has a takeover, he will have a do it another way to get it through. Nice steps to Marner. Marner to Matthew's shot, and it goes up in the air, and it just went right toward the wing as Barbara Spoon grabs the rebound. Here's Shane Kirk. Eki, lose the puck in effort. Back to McKay, try to get the puck out of here. Find it, moves it around, goes to Frederick, stop safe by, Fred by Anderson. Here's McKay back the air away. 12 30 left to remain in second period. Marner gets to Matthews for a chance. This one stopped by Swayman. Great shot effort for the Maple Leafs, but this one stops it again for the goaltender reaction. Now another changeup is ready for the faceoff. Two ones to score for Maple Leafs. As the win puts in a severe shot, this one went out. Back to McCabe again to Bennett. Bennett moves it across over, and Pasternak with the takeover with the puck. Back again to Marchand. Shoots! Boom! Save! What a great opportunity for a Marchand. But this one stopped it up. Yeah, you know what happened now? Because that one shit, he got to get going right after it. But it doesn't really happen to most of a lot. Now the wing puts it in. It's like Bushkin gets to Yarn Crook. Yarn Crook, two on one. Shoots! And it just hit off the blocker made by Swayman. And out to Tanger's shot. Goes in a call and it gives it over to Yarn Crook, block the shot. We better by Pasternak. Pasternak's making its way towards the other side of the zone. Moves it across. Behind the net. Gets to Coyle. Coyle gives it Shannon Kirk. Morgan Spoon on the other side. Marchand shot. And it just went too close to the net. Now Riley's got it across the airway. Again to Mark McMahon. Nearing the midway mark in the period. Still 2-1. McMahon. Gives it to kid. Now he's off to Matthew's shot. Big save! Bresnik's got that puck. Keeping it alive. Back to McAvoy. McAvoy moves it around. Back to Coyle. Coyle trying to cut it down. And Coyle back here away on the outside. Gives it again to McAvoy. Big shot! He scores! I think the puck is
Now the team is tied up. Two teams will score with 10 26 to go. Matthews with the fame winning faceoff. Back again tonight as he went down. Grayzik loses the puck. Here's Marner. Off to Lugren. Shot. He scores. Back the arrow. Away it goes. Broken the chain and go up by one. Well, that's going to be a back-to-back -back switch anyway because that is really going to take over and there's not going to be a lot much time to get there. Well, there's not many you know, uh, option choice because look, we're not the blind that one there. And this one was a firing puck raising about. That was a little bit like uh, a wish off and it goes swooming in right toward the net. And that one just swooshed it right across in here to get a call. A go ahead chance for Lidgren. Puts up a lead for 3 1. 10 11 to go in the second. 3 2 correction with the score. Matthews wins the face out of this. Lugwin will have that puck in right toward the right way. Got a first goal of the night in the playoffs. And Grayslick's got it across the airway, passing a midway mark in the period. Grayslick, a loose that puck. And Brody will have it again to Nays. Over it again to Matthews. A takeover shot. Big save and play. Grayslick gets again to McAvoy. Moves it across back to Van Nays. With the chance, right toward the left wing. Passes to Brush shot. Safe puts in for Samsonov. For two, misses the target. Luray battling for the puck chain. Zaka over to Mamaya shot. Trying to fuck it in there. Poked it out of gear. Bruins are still working alive now as the Brush will have it across into the wing. Got it bounce, shoots, save by Samsonov. Under nine minutes to go in a second period, three twos to score. Now ready for another faceoff. Gerard Maple leaves up ahead. Now the win for the Bruins. Loses the puck. Beelander trying to get it back. Now Paterzi will have it swinging over on into the Bruins zone. On a shot, big save by Swayman. 8-3-9 left to go in a second period. Still a tight score game in between. And now the way I'll put it up for the Bruins as Lorraine will give it over to Heinen. Heinen dumps the puck out. Now that Bushkin and Ferris shoots the score! There's one way, and there's another way. They tied it up, no problem. Now, I was expecting that because after that puck drop, and this one loses the puck in the corner, he just stopped himself with a great rebound. And that shot had it just been tipped in, ranging in right into the shoulder. That's a little bit of a hard aggression to take over, but that was no wonder how that happened. What a great shot for Frederick! Easy enough to save for it. He was playing it really well. And that puck comes off for Heinen. It goes over to Frederick and he just grabbed the puck right away. And he said, I got it for you. That's a great shot. What a chance here. Mybushkin now finds over Riley. Short stuff made by Sweetman. Now here's a chance for Heinen. Puck's taken over as Riley will have another chance as Kiki takes it over. Frederick on his way down, right toward the left wing. Takes a shot, another stop made by the goaltender. Riley's got the puck finding Domi. Domi over to Nylander. Nylander losing the puck control as he has it again to Coyle. On the attacks along the boards. And this one will stop by Samsonov to cover the puck with 7.20 to go. We would like to remind you that the next game will be on its way for its approach bit. This will now be changing over only the game that will be happening here with the Stars that's going to be on its way next. That's going to be a Stars versus the Jets. And then the later game will be happening with the Canucks facing against the Golden Knights. That will be back at Vancouver at 10 p.m. game. So that will be all the games coming underway. Following along with the next game as we have the game six that's happening here on the other side of it. As the Lightning are facing against the Firm Canes, the next matchup beginning at 8 p.m. That will be on its next way to get this thing started and rumbled on for our next game of a matchup.
Two games are coming up only on Sun and Beats. And if you're in subscribing it to his channel, thank you so much for everybody who is tuning in. But you will have some a little bit of changes here in just the coming futures, so stick around tight. You'll find out soon enough later then. Now another face-off is ready to take games off. Bruins and the Leafs are tied by three. Xavier's wins the face-off, and now he rolls it over again to John Cook. Moves his way across toward the wing. Fires a shot. Big enough a step made by Swayman. Fouling for the puck along the boards. And McAvoy will have the puck taken. He decided to give it back to Marshan. Now he finds Pasternak again to McAvoy. Here's Coyle. Moving around again. With a new line group. Coyle. Right behind the net. Bresic's got the puck now finding McAvoy. Pass over to Coyle. Good stop by Santanov. It's great. That happened to be a great look in its appearances. It's not always easy enough, but take it over if you can. Still a lot of time up in this face off. Still a tie game. Ladies and Bears, Steve Lake, they, they want their team to be up ahead, but they want to try to stop the Maple Leafs on the other side. Matthews already getting the nice. And here's Van Mites with the puck right on the left wing. Oh, he just made that one tumbled hit. Big collision course here. We're already back the other way with 5.15 to go. Fast broken it up. Here's Greslick. Greslick speeding up across the other side. Marner takes the puck steal. The press has got this time. Matthews takes the puck away. The Leafs will gain the regroup as Brody has that puck recovery. In towards the middle, Marner for a lead, and this one missed is off the glass and right toward the back of the net. Battling for the loose puck, and now finds it over to get a curl again to Heinen. Heinen fires that puck out. Leibuchkin up across the Humber. Marner right toward the slot. Scoop up along the boards. Scoop up along the board by the way. Furnick gets it over to get a hiding. Across the line in the zone. Takes it down. Carlo has it. Saved by the play by Samsonov. He denied that shot already, but that wasn't really what they were expecting to. Even if you know Samsonov got it covered. Another face-off coming up for the Bruins and the Leafs with 3.50 to go. Face-off win for Bruins. Carlos shot on a big attacker. That's off in traffic and back again to high end again to Kiki. Big blocker stuff made. And it goes up and out of play. So lots of time left in this period. They're letting the Bruins score, and they're still tied up. And the full pressure's on. Carlo got bumped up again as Reese has it over. And now in the Bruins zone. Here's a shot. Too many bodies in the way, and this one goes back to Holmberg. Holmberg trying to get the puck out. Coyle has it again to Carlo. Leaving from the zone, back again to Moshe. Oh, a big kick! And Marchand's first. Well, it does not get enough. I think he's going to be in the medical room now. Yeah, I can see. He's looking like he's weaving up already. I think this is what's going to happen now. I think they're all expecting right now. So we need to get him out of here. So right now, Marchand is down. And he's in the medical room. He will have to get off the ice. Oh, man. That's a big hit. I can already see he's whimpering already. That captain got really hurt. A big hit. Well, hopefully right now he will be okay right now for the next game. But I always give appreciation. And it's all that happened to now. We hope that everything is okay for you, for Brad Marchand. But hey, one period just made it through, but unable to complete the regulation periods. Well, as of right now, this moment here, so it's all rested up. Stay in good, good form. Stay healthy, Brad Marchand. We won't forget about you. Austin shot. Big save by Sensenov. Boshinox 
Yeah, oh man, that was a little bit of a close range with the tic-tac-toe play. Domi, right over to again to Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi spins across, now finding Domi. Domi shoots, that save again by Swayman. Domi trying to give again to Bertuzzi. Loose the puck in range as Zaka has it again to Van Ayers. The pass over now finds the Brooks. The Brooks on his way down. With the shot, too many bodies in the way as McCabe trying to grab it. Toronto will play the puck out of here. McMahon over to Bennett. And here's a pass. Shot saved by Swayman with 1.15 to go. Officially, they said, ready for the faceoff. Still a tie game at TD Garden Arena. Freaks. Now the win for the Leafs. Takes that blank off the range as now is Heinen with the puck. Under a final minute remaining in the second, as Frederick will have a chance to take the lead. This one's denied. Now here's McMahon trying to get into it in the attacking range to get right through it. Brody with the pressure and range, he now has to deliver over again to Yarnbrook. Over now to Davis. Tavares with the puck. Toward the corner. Yarnbrook shot. Glove saved by Jeremy Swayman. Under 30 second mark in the second period. Still looking for another faceoff win in between the Bruins or the Leafs. The win puts an end for Austin Matthews. Brody. Off to Mays. Shoots! Missed the target! Buck winds all the way back. Ten seconds left to remain in the second period. He tries to go up with a good look. Now he's for the lead. This will stop. And this will end the second period. Still a tie game. 3-3 as the Bruins make a comeback. As for right now, it's going to be on pressure. Good a take full. It's going to be it for the third. Play hard, play smart. And that will do for the period. Third period underway. Without Brad Marchand, we'll have an update with you soon after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. It all comes down to this. The third period is about to begin at TD Gordon. Well, I hope you all are having fun with this time, but this is where a comeback for Pitch sits in for Frederick to take over it. And now, the third period has begun. I have a little bit of a take to those two, so let's have your takes for you guys. Well, I ain't gonna get a good credit to that. Ball goes to Frederick, beat us with a great goal. Just a perfection. Doesn't mean to anybody who can definitely play it like that. You know what happens? because they don't really deserve what they get, and they really are pushing things up pressure. On its way, for the lineup, it's just nothing but I always can see of. Thinking about, what do you need to know? Well, I'm pretty uh, excited to say, maybe there might be a great way, like thinking this might be the only matchup that's gonna be happening in here. So, let's go for it. Shot stop, baby! Oh, what a great stop here! Quill trying to get it back. And another take keeps on coming. Quill's got that puck in bound, and as Nays will have it. Back to Marner. Over again to Matthews. The shot doesn't take over it. This one goes back to Pasternak and back to McAvoy. Here's another one for McAvoy. Back the airway it goes. Moving around in there for a leadoff change. McAvoy takes it over back to Gressley again to that nice shot. Off again on the glove and this one goes right back to Labushkin. Nice has that puck. He went down hard. Back the airway to McAvoy. Here's Frederick. Back the airway goes and it goes right toward into the wing. And it's stopped made by Santanov. Labushkin trying to get the puck back there where it belongs. And Melander has the puck in. In toward the left wing, trying to weave around his own. Shoots it stopped. Locked up away, and Nylander gives it over now to Riley. Fires a shot. What a save by Swayman. Excellent, brilliant battle takeover. I was really sure nothing could happen here. 
Don't forget, the next game that's going to be coming up will be the Stars facing against the Jets at American Airlines Center. Speaking of this game, we talked about it here, but I was never hearing, hearing it before. The mascot, because of this point, his name is Victor E. Green. He is a furry green alien, and he definitely comes from a galaxy far, far away. And a color victory green, and a reference to former owner of Norman Green. And sometimes in the playoffs, he loves to do his streaking. Streaking? Is that really what I see? Because I've never seen anybody like that. Because when the Stars win this game, they play it out, and this one will be evicted to an announcer of a head. They make Stars win three times in a row. And for Green, they go streaking. Oh man, I always think of now because that green loves to make a dance move out of it and I would say it's amazing but I always need to know for. But as you can definitely imagine right now, it's what everyone's supposed to see on social media and that's what I can always say is when the Stars win, they win this game and they let that one be in the playoff of the postseason, they really love to enjoy that one anyway. I can feel the pressure now for uh, Victor Green. He's really like a uh, mascotting a new Definitely. Gotta enjoy that one anyway. Gotta believe it. If the Stars win, we're going to the Western Conference Finals. Close save by Swayman. Back to Luray and to Brazil. That's excellent takeover. I say Swayman's alright. Why not? 15-3 left to go in the third period as Yonkrook's got that puck. Spinning around. Back to McCabe. McCabe just going back to McMahon. On a shot range, that misses the target. Back to your Brook. And Buck leaves his own. Scoop of all on the board by Tavares. Your has got that puck in. Toward the corner of the wall. Bumps up. Bovis trying to give over to Carlo. And Brazil's got that puck. Reaching inbound to dump it out. Passing a 15 minute mark in the period, as he now has a to McMahon. Lose that puck. Coyle! Good takedown from Austin Matthews. Matthews coming in, streaking hot, and a stop made here by Swayman. No shock at all, he said. I don't know what's going to happen right now, but McAvoy is just really saying that the Swayman is putting in there as a great stoppage. you got to have that credit in there. Good save! Samsonov gets that one to get to rest and get ready for the next face-off. Now the Rub and Ray doing her face-off. Face-off waiting for the Bruins. Carlo. Who's that puck? The move shot. Stop me here by Samsonov. A chance for Pasternak. For the lead, it's been stopped. And they're out of full pressure zone. Carlo. Takes out. Nice will now have another way to keep that puck out of here. Another take, big save. And it's a very shot, misses the target outside, and it's my blue screen again to Matthews. Back to Riley, over to Matthews, shot, no chance here. This one stayed out of here. Full pressure coming up, and at least what a save! Unbelievable for Jeremy Swayman. Oh, that's what's going to happen now. You always expect it right now. When you get players like that, you got to believe it. Everybody's been all over it right now, and you've got to get it out. As long as you have it in there, with a better chance. Here's Kiki with the puck. Alton McAvoy gets again to Frederick. Frederick shot. This one misses and went behind the net. Frederick, give it over to McAvoy. On his way, should save by Swayman. Sends it off, excuse me. Nylander, right in the middle. Pressure in the zone. Here's Patrizzi for a chance, and this one stopped by Swayman. He will stop that puck here, which is only coming down to 12.27 to go. Now they're ready for an air face off. Energy still regaining the control as it's still a tie game. As the wind went up for Domi, fires it stopped made by Sweden. And the other side right now, as I can definitely say, is, you know, 
It's because no one has ever seen it like that. For the Bruins, it doesn't mean to anybody who gets a great look of it, who has that man to take all over from here. And what a chance here. Now he will try the airway. Laibushke. Over with the shot. What a catch. Nice take for Jeremy Swayman. Stops the play with 12-01. Now the better easy when you can definitely just happen now at that big of a save for Jeremy Swayman, that's going to be out there almost in trouble. But that one was a great stoppage, so you got to have to apply more room, got to play it right, and you got to have it in there. They were really are expecting right now, that is turning out to be great. Another face-off coming up for the Boston Bruins and the Leafs. Now the win will put it up for the Bruins. And here's Bray Zoo. Is he trying to have an answer in? Sliding across, big save by Sexton Rebound stop. Is he trying to hand it over to McAvoy? Lock the shot. Lock up again to McAvoy. McAvoy for a chance. Now we're a big stop. And he's going to Here, I give it over to Brad Marchand. I give it over to you, Terry. What's your take? Thanks, guys. I was able to talk to one of the managers here. Unfortunately for Brad Marchand, he had that one with his broken in the rip. This one wasn't taking really well, and this one happened like all of a certain step in the ruin, and this one after the tumble takedown for the Maple Leafs in the second period. He said that it would feel unconscious now, and he's uncomfortable to get back into the game. So that one is going to be a mark of the pressure here, and he's in a locker room. We'll have to see if we can get back into game six, but hopefully we appreciate game with all the support. Thank you, Gary Terry. We hope that everything will be okay, and we will see what happens. The battle take down at Van Myers will have the puck. Back again to the Brooks. Rebound by Loray. Try to have it the air away. Here's your uncle. Shoots! That misses the target off the glass and it goes again to the Myers. On the take, Zaka. McMahon, back to Lugrin. Trying to have an answer in. The better take in for another look. And the shots, this one takes out. Lugrin with the butt. Oh, a big hit on the Blade Bruin takedown. That's when nobody's seen it. That's when you know that it calls the place to Bruin. That's what he does. Rumble down. Another battle take over on the Maple Leafs as Martyr has that puck. For a shot, stopped by Swayman with under midway mark in the period. Now I call it for Blades of Bruin because that happened to be the Boston Bruins as the Bruin and notable because he's the only known bear who does not hibernate, but he took his first interest in hockey. When watching Johnny Bayer play pond hockey with groups of neighborhood children. And especially Blades of Bruin comes here to every house of the home in Boston, Massachusetts. He definitely gives support with the children out there, and I always expected that this one comes in for a great effort. Hey, let's say this, Blades the Bruin Bear! I always know that whenever it takes with no hibernation call, he definitely wants to be on the job. Every off-season, and sometimes, however, maybe that point, in every regular season game. Might be what they're expecting now. Hopefully this will be a great chance of them. I would love to see what the support is for the neighbor to give the children and all expected. It's great to have them serve here. 
Swayman comes up with the punt save with 8.17 to go in the third. You know what happened now? Blades, the Bruin. I just know that happens to be one of the great takes. Just happening to be watching one of the games. It happens just all that time. Now the win for the Bruins. Off again to Memayich. Here's a chance. Oh, he's going to take it. Oh, a big save. Puts up a Samson. Uh, stops the puck with eight minutes to go. That full breakout zone, that's going to take a little bit of a hard swing to sweep him over. And I was expecting that. That was going to be a great one. Here's Prosser. Now it's back to Memayich with 7.45 to go in the third. And it's off to Nylander. Toward her left wing, Wotherspoon, loose the puck, back to Pasternox. Pasternox right towards the right of the wing, he goes down, back to McKay. And Pasternox denies that. Bruins recovers his own, and now Pasternox will have it. A takeover in front, big save, pumps up by Samsonov. And my other shot, and then we stop Bay. Looks over to get a Wotherspoon from the corner, this one is off again. And Samsonov will cover the puck up. They are on full pressure already, under seven minutes. Now with the take. Now the win for the Blue Reds. McAvoy went down. A big, great takedown for the Leafs. Bruins clears his own. Back to Coyle. Moving in across right toward the right of the way. Over to the McAvoy. Shot. Save by Samsonov. Great chance here. No penalty call between the two. It was still clean. Hey, let's listen to the fact. They played really well. No penalty, no problem. It's all clean. Whatever they take, gotta go with the effort. Tabor is with lift the puck out of here, and this Hyden will have it. Hyden right towards the little left, right of the wing is Ben and will have it with under six minutes to go. Deep the pass to McMahon. Rules it in the mound. He goes down. And it's Gressick back again to Frederick. Frederick battling along the boards. Another take for Gressick. And McAvoy has it swinging over again. Back the other side it goes to Kiki. Scoop the board by Geeks. Now he's back to Matthews. Matthews in his own. Shoots it! Same play by Jeremy Swayman. Here comes McAvoy. Fans are on the feet for Jeremy Swayman and the team. Just under five minutes to go in the third. And Lilburn will have it. Take a big down. Lilburn trying to have the puck out of here. Race two with the puck again to McAvoy. A deep league pass over. Now finding the pass again to Bovitz. Bovitz can't get the puck behind passing Leibouchier. And Nylander will try to get it back in. Nylander up. Back to Coyle. Here's Van Meyer's chance. A chance for another two-point play. That was often whipped away. And back to Domi. Try to have another answer back as he fires that puck out. Loray does it over again to Pasternak. Pasternak shot. is blocked up. Now here's Domi. Domi tries to hand it over to Paterzi. Bertuzzi losing the effort. Loray tries to spin it around again to Pashanox. Over now to Van Eich. Again to Carlo. 3 3 left to go in the third period. He goes in again to Coyle. Coyle loses one. Leibuski tries to gain it back. Takes the puck over for DeBrus. Covering with a rebound is Zaka. Here's a shot. Saved by Samsonov. 3.13 left to go in the third period. Ready for an earth attacking faceoff. What's the call here, Terry? David Pasternak has been doing really well. I know it happens when everybody's in favor, but the snipe doesn't happen to be one of her takes, so that's my best option, and I would love to hear from him. Here's Van Myers battling for the puck in Jay. Now back to Lorraine. Carla shoots! Misses off the target off to the defender. Again, Riley gives to Matthews. Riley bringing her team in the effort. Here comes Marner. Big hit on the takedown. 
Barlow has it over now on the Bastier side. And it's the brush shot. Blocker stop made by Samsonov. Here's McMahon. Tries to get it over. And Heine has got that putt. Back again to Frederick. Moves it around. Shoots it. What a stop made by Samsonov. A wild save and it goes back to Tavirix. That was no other option. I never just find what goes in it. But that was a wild on the save. That's an unthinkable moment. To think about what you're going with. If you're playing like, like S.A.S.A. and Samsonov, you've got to play that one with a big chance of a save impact. Defender blocked away. Frederick trying to get it over. He went down. Frederick trying to get it off. The shot stopped me. Frederick trying to regroup. Get the puck out of the zone. Tavares with the puck that by Riley again to Yorkburg. They're about to get the extra skater on. Nearing the midway nine minute, and he scores! We are tied. Morgan Riley answers the call. He now has two goals in the playoffs. Look out below. Morgan Riley had that one swinging across with nearing a one minute mark. He made this one moving in. That was excellent, but that's what you don't really spot it on with that much. You really wouldn't say, why would you do it that way? That is just unbreakable. You can't let that one get away with this because Morgan Riley, he's done it at all. The win puts in for Austin Matthews. Both teams are tied by four, and we're going to be on a long game now. Loray will now find it over again, the pass off to Van Myers. Just one minute left to remain in the third. Going for a lead has been kicked over by Ludwig. And shaking his own, big tackle takedown. Loray now finds a pass to Coyle. Coyle right toward the right wing. Moves across. Shoots it! Saved by Samsonov! We're under a minute and we are nearing down the 30 second mark, almost the end of the regulation period. And they're off to do it again. Alright, we're for an ever ready face off. And they're off. Now it's back and over. Oh, and Nebraska's gonna take the steal. Try to go for the lead off take. Here's Haka. A chance for Char Carlo under 30 seconds. Lorraine shot. This puts the fucking off the mark as Lilgrim will have it back. And Lilgrim will try to sneak it out. And it's the Brooks. 15 seconds. They've got to make it through. Towards the right wing. Looking for a chance to make a front. And it's broken up by Lilgrim. And we are heading to overtime. The Jersey chance, and it's broken up. Four and four. Answer for the Bruins, and answer for Morgan Riley. On a tying game. Overtime is next, after the break. While we have a moment for any overtime, let's have a look of how they did in the total statistics from first to third period in regulation. And now for the take here for you guys of the overtime as we are getting ready to have that one starting underway. What's your take of who's going to win this game? Well, it's going to be happening what I was really not even noticing, so I guess that the Boston Bruins might have that one with another chance with the lucky make in there. I, I just noticing that overtime never really happened to be in game one, but that was happening with the Toronto Maple Leafs. You're starting things over again, and all I know is it's not what they always really, really have been seeing it. Chucking it in there, it doesn't mean that everybody's good at it, but you've got, you've got a big figure anyway. I'm going to say the Maple Leafs are going to do this one again. First game, success, but the fifth game must do. 
they write to students for the game and say, hey, why come you're not doing any overtime shooting? I think you're going to crush that one in there. All right. Well, let's hope that there is one, and we'll find out who takes it in. Overtime is brought to you by Adidas. Let the games begin. Overtime on now. Here we go. It's about that time. Let's run. And here we go. Overtime starts now. We've seen them in game one in the second round, but that happened to be the Maple Leafs with the win. But now, let's find out who takes here. As the start puts on, here's Marner. Marner over tonight, shoots, blocked up. Washington Ox will now have that puck on the other side of his own. He goes after him. Nice, but the puck not trying to get it like Bushke. Here's Matthews, a chance for a shot get on the moment. That's another save by Swayman. The easier one to happen to be what they were expecting it because he don't really play that much. That up to me is going to give a hard time to go with that. Shot stop made by Samson up. 1905 left to remain in overtime. Trying to look for a next goal win. Now they're ready for the faceoff. And the win will put up a quarter. He went down. And now it's over again to Crescent again to the Myers. On its way down. Go for its hot. Simpson up makes a save back to Riley again in order. Marner shoots it. Locker stop and it's off the glass. And now coming into rebound is Petruzzi. Press it again to McAvoy. McAvoy loses the puck. Sliding it in. Here's Riley. A shot. Tommy. Rebound in. Takes it all again as McAvoy tries to spill that puck out. McAvoy tries to shoot one of the stop made here by Samson. A chance now. McAvoy win the game. No deflection given. Hind it. Tries to get to Frederick. Again, aggressive. Shoots. He scores! Charlie McAvoy ends the game in overtime. And the win puts it. Bruins on their feet. Wins. Game five. Does it. Charlie McAvoy answers the call, and this one happened to be with this on the flick of a chain, and this goes right toward it, picked up the stick, and it passes over to Samsonov. Great successful win, and the night for Toronto. We all salute to the fans. We can't appreciate all of them. How they played it, it went great. I know! What a wild save! Now back to lead a series! Well, that's going to do here. Be far along with Light Gray and Light Bulb. This has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for joining us and have a great night, everybody. All right, guys, thank you so much. Ilya Samsonov with 72 saves and a start. Then the second start goes to Jeremy Swayman with 67 saves in the night. And with the third winning game in overtime, goes to Charlie McAvoy with two goals and one assist and 10 hits. On an unbelievable chain and a big tipper, this went in. Flip off the stick, and it goes in toward the net. The Boston Bruins are back in to break the tie series, and now up with a 3-2 series. Here's how you do it the total statistics. 77 over 71 total shots on goal for the Boston Bruins. 81 hits for the Maple Leafs over 80. And it was 6.43 over 6.22 time on attack for Boston Bruins. 94 over 91 for Toronto Maple Leafs on the passing percentage. Then 38 face-off wins over 30 for Toronto. No power play, no penalty kill, and no power play goals. So that ends it up here for the first game. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you're ready for the next game, Stars and Jets coming up next. This will be the next part of the game. Keep your eyes on. Anyways, I'll, I'll stop waffling around and get right into it. Peace out for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. This is Son of Beast. I'll see you all again on the other side. If not, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.